Most gardeners rinse their rice and pour the water down the sink. But what if I told you that this cloudy water is one of the most powerful natural microbe fertilizers you can make at home? Today we're talking about fermented rice water, a simple kitchen byproduct that can rebuild soil life, strengthen roots, and bring tired plants back to life. This isn't new. In fact, fermented rice water is a cornerstone in Korean natural farming, where it's known as lab starter and agricultural studies from the University of Hawaii CTAHR have shown that rice-based microbial solutions can increase nutrient availability and soil microbe diversity. Let's make this together, step by step. Rice water contains starch, amino acids, trace minerals, and carbohydrates. When you ferment it, beneficial bacteria multiply especially lactic acid bacteria and fermentative microbes. These microbes break down organic matter, unlock minerals stuck in soil, attract earthworms, improve soil structure, and boost root development. Healthy soil isn't about fertilizer, it's about biology. And fermented rice water brings billions of microbes back to your garden. Start with one cup of uncooked rice. Add 3 cups of clean water. Gently swirl the rice for 20 to 30 seconds until the water becomes cloudy white. This milky water is full of starch and microfood, perfect for fermentation. Pour it into a clean glass jar. Loosely cover the jar with a cloth or paper towel. Leave it at room temperature for about 24 to 48 hours. You'll know it's ready when it smells slightly sour kind of like mild yogurt. A thin film forms on top, and small bubbles start to appear. These are signs of active microbial growth. According to KNF, this stage cultivates wild microorganisms that are naturally present in rice and the air. Strain out any solids and keep only the liquid. This is your starter. To stabilize the microbes and encourage lactic acid bacteria, mix one part fermented rice water with 10 parts fresh milk. You can use cow, goat, or even a powdered milk solution. Shake gently, then ferment again for five to seven days. During this stage, the lactic acid bacteria multiply rapidly. You'll notice the milk separating with curds rising and a clear liquid settling at the bottom. That bottom liquid is pure microbial gold. Carefully pour out the bottom liquid. This is your fermented rice water fertilizer. It's rich in lactic acid bacteria, vitamins, enzymes, and beneficial microorganisms. Store it in an airtight bottle. You've just made a natural soil activator that, honestly, commercial fertilizers just can't match. Now, you never want to use it full strength. It's just too concentrated. For gardening, here's what you do. Mix one tablespoon of fermented rice water into one liter of clean water. You can use this mixture as a soil drench or as a foliar spray, whichever you prefer. Go ahead and apply it every two weeks. So, what happens after you use it? Well, the soil becomes darker and crumbly, earthworms start showing up, leaves turn a brighter green, roots grow faster, and, honestly, your plants will show stronger resistance to heat and stress. This method works beautifully on tomatoes, peppers, herbs, leafy greens, cucumbers, fruit trees, and even houseplants. So, why does this simple fermented liquid work so well? Well, it's because lactic acid bacteria suppress harmful pathogens, increase nutrient solubility, help roots absorb calcium and magnesium, improve nitrogen cycling, and stimulate beneficial fungi. According to KNF and research from CTHR, these microbes can increase nutrient uptake by up to 25 to 40 percent. When your soil biology is alive, your plants respond quickly and, honestly, quite naturally. All right, let's talk about some common mistakes to avoid. Don't use salty or oily rice water. 
Don't use undiluted fermented solution. Don't store it under heat. Microbes die. Don't apply daily. And don't use milk that has gone bad before mixing. If you just follow the simple ratios, your garden will thrive. This method is ancient, simple, and, you know, scientifically sound. It takes kitchen scraps and turns them into a living fertilizer that really brings your soil back to life. If you're gardening in small spaces, balconies, or raised beds, fermented rice water might just become your new secret weapon. If this video helped you, join our Seedly Gardening family. Subscribe, like, and grow with us. Naturally, Seedly Smart Gardening. Real growth.